three, two, one. Go. Still, he's going to eat sensationally playing for Arsenal because mm. he's going to get a lot of chances. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, bruv, he's a good player. Yeah, he's top, a top, top player. player bro. That's a great signing. Yeah, I've, I've been bro. Anyone who's been watching my channel for the last eighteen months or so knows I've been raving about this guy, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with um, Alexis McAllister. I've been beating the drum for that guy since he went to Brighton. Like, mm -hmm. like since he was like in the first team regular, I'm like, yo, this guy's underrated. Same with him. Yeah, but because he ain't the sexy name and he ain't Mikhailo Mudrik, like mm -hmm. our fans, like our fans have been having a bit of a meltdown. Some of them, oh, he's too old. Like, why do they just want all these young kids at Arsenal? Like, that's a bit weird, man. You need like, experience. You need experience in the game. And also, like, with age, usually comes a bit of composure as well. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you're more polished at 28 than you are at 23. Oh, 100%. And 28 is not even old, blood. Like, you can still get a good three, four years out of him, bro. Like, oh, he only, he only turned 28, 28 last month. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You got a solid four years before you need to even worry about him. And he probably signed, what, a three-year deal or something like that? Um, three and a half was that 2027 he signed to i think four and a half oh sh oh shit yeah. yeah i think 2027 oh, he signed to. it's calm though bruv do you know what i'm saying like, no that's Apparently calm he's 90 grand a week so he ain't gonna break the the wage structure or anything is he do you know what i mean it's not gonna oh, upset yeah. the, the the other players that are there like he's gone to a bigger football club he's already proven he can do it in the league so mm. it's a great signing man technically quality left foot right foot all types of finishes works his yeah. nuts off um off the ball as well but i've seen people saying oh he's, he's lazy off the ball no he ain't i watch a lot of brian because they, they play good football man now if, they, if there's a chance to watch them on tv i'm watching them right and when i watch him every time i see him play i just think nah we need to get you uh, and, the, and the good thing is edu obviously agreed because he obviously watched my channel and um and i was like why are we messing around with mudrick we should be signing this guy and there you go big up edu don edu obviously listened to me so now now go and get um a midfielder and, and we're good to go, man. The bench will be pretty stacked. So, no, yeah, I'm buzzing. yeah, I'm buzzing with that. Same with this this Polish lad that we've signed. I don't know nothing about him. Um, all I know is that his, his wife is the twerk champion, Germany's twerk champion. Bro, oh, my days. <laughs> oh my. Although Arsenal fans ain't interested in that. They're more interested in the, the players' looks rather than the, <laughs> than, than the way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said the twer twer twerk, oh, bro, champion. She's twerk champion. I'm not even lying. Man cannot be wor wor wife and girls that twerk, blood. I'm telling you, trust me. If you twer twerked like a day, oh, in your life, yeah, no yeah she, ain't, she ain't too bad, you know. I can't lie. She, she's a bit of a salt, bro. She can do the splits yeah, and nice. everything. Just, if you Google her, bro, I was Googling it earlier while I was on stream here because everyone was telling me in the chat, I was like, no, you're chatting rubbish. Yeah, and like some of the pictures, it's probably, it's probably. You need an 18 plus rating for some of the pictures on Google search for her, mate. Like real That's talk. Mad. Yeah, man. All right, well, at least I right, listen, it might not last long, but at least you'll get a second go quicker, wouldn't he? <laughs> That's a mad thing, man. <laughs> That's a mad thing still. I can't even lie, bro. <laughs> no, nah, bro. That man there, bro. Man said, let's see, you man trying to get get my, my channel taken down. You man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she's she's quite tidy. I can't lie. No, nah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm fucking dying, bro. Yeah, that's what that's about. <laughs> still, I said, put up the video. <laughs> we need a visual. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a visual yeah. learner. <laughs> you got our tap, bro. The guy I'm name, oh. my wife next to it, and, and you can check her out, man. She's not bad. Yeah, it's not she's me, not bro. Bad. That's not for me, bro. I'm staying well away from that. You know what I'm saying? Man said he needs the Instagram for, for research purposes and that. Like, you man are funny. But nah. <laughs> but, but who knows? Them man, are, they might have, un, they might have like got a gem in this centre mm. back. I don't know nothing about him. Or he could just be Same. a dud, innit? You just never know, bro. He played, he he played for, uh, Poland in the World Cup. So I, I, yeah. I can't remember him. I can't lie. I, I, I don't know nothing about him. Um, from the reports that have all come out, I don't know if it's just talk just to make it sound better than it is. I don't know. But Dortmund were interested, Milan, Juve, Napoli. Like if Dortmund going for a player, like normally they're pretty decent, mm -hmm. aren't they? So yeah. I don't know, man. But he played at DM last season, 21 mm -hmm. times at DM, mm -hmm. and then this season he's played centre back. So maybe he's a, a cheap alternative until we can get the, the actual target in the summer that we want for DM. Like mm -hmm. and he can it's probably better than Rob Holding because he's just shit. So 
left footed as well, which is what Arteta wanted. So maybe the idea is if if Party gets injured, we can throw him in midfield. I don't know until the end of the season. Mm, fair. No, I mean, um... yeah, I'm happy, man. All of a sudden, Edu um, Edu's upped his game, and everyone wants me to apologise to him. Why he's done his job? Yeah, that's right. it. That's exactly what he's meant to do, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be applauding man for literally doing his job. It's not that deep, yeah. innit? That's why I read that Elise the other night, yeah? Man man slapped that banger against you lot. Didn't even celebrate. Yeah, you yeah, didn't. He was just like, all right, cool. It's like, yeah, that's mm. what I'm paid to do. Laters. Yeah, that's elite mindset. People are out here jumping around because like he scored a scream. You should be celebrating. No, he's got elite mind, mate. Yeah, I've scored a goal in stoppage time. We didn't win the game. Why would I celebrate? Yeah. Like, sick goal. But come on, man. And then all of a sudden, we're now linked to Elise. It's funny. Yeah, people were putting pictures around the internet. Yeah, um, with Elise, he had a selfie with Arsene Wenger. And then now, the next day after that, oh, he's linked to Arsenal. Shut up, man. We ain't yeah, it's a mad thing. Crazy. Mean, Ten Hag saying what? Sancho's in team training. Interesting. You know what mm. I mean? I don't know if Arsenal games, they gave me returns, but... Sancho on the bench tomorrow would be a big lift for the team, especially without Casemiro. If if Man got Sancho on the bench, I think that'd be a big morale boost for the team, knowing that he's in the squad, isn't it? So you never know. That could be another thing that could um, lift the team and become a factor. I don't think he, I don't, he might be on the bench, but I'm looking at your fixtures. You got he's Forest. not going to start. You got Forest, yeah. Redding, and then Forest. He'll probably start maybe all three of them. Mm. Forest, Redding, Forest before you maybe. Next league. Right, you got Palace again. Have we? Fucking hell. You're next. You've got us on Sunday. Then you've got Wednesday against Forest away in the cup. Then you've got the FA Cup against Reading. Then you've got Forest again, second leg. And then your next Premier League game after that is Palace. That's mad. Mad. And then you've got Leeds back to back. What? You've got two league games against Leeds in four days. I don't know, bro. Who sorted these fixtures out? You've got Leeds on the 8th of February at home. And then you've got Leeds away four days later. Away. I don't know what that's about. Oh, that, oh that's because you had Leeds cancelled, didn't you? Because yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, Liz, Lizzie, Lizzie. Yeah, Lizzie kicked the bucket and that. It's a mad thing. Man yeah, said Arteta, Arteta, incredible individuals. Yeah, exactly. But this is what I'm saying, bro. This is why I think yeah that stylistically Arsenal May United is going to be interesting is because our organization is very, very, very good, and we've got individual players that can turn the game. So yes. that is why, bruv, you Man United are at m probably their mo at their most dangerous when they don't have the ball in it, and and Arsenal are a team that has a lot of the ball, and Arsenal are at their most dangerous when they have the ball because Arsenal without the ball, do you know what I mean? They're not. It's one of them ones where I think they can be got at. It's just that they don't get got at because they have the ball a lot and they don't really come up against teams that are good on the break like us. So it's one of them ones where when I look at this this Premier League, Liverpool. Liverpool on form are probably the only team here yeah, that I think are as dangerous as us in transition on a counter attack. Like Liverpool used to be deadly with Mo Salah getting in behind, obviously Sadio Mane as well. Mane's not there anymore. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, bro, with the pace and the direct players that we do have, I think we can be a big threat. And Arteta knows that. You know what I mean? He does know that. Do you know what I mean? So. It's one of them ones. If he had lost to us at home first and he was coming to Old Trafford, I think he might have changed his tactics at Old Trafford and played a little deeper. However, because mm. he's at home, I don't think he can afford to pay us too much respect. I think he has to just keep doing what he's doing, innit? If this wasn't a home win, game... Especially if Man City beat Wolves. Because yeah, then it's exactly. two points. And then we've got Man City coming up next month. But that's what I mean, bro. That's what I mean about pressure league. Because if Man City... Man City can be two points behind you, can't they? Um, mm, by the time yeah. that game comes. So... Imagine if City are two points behind you, yeah? It's a must-win game for you, bro. This is pressure that you ain't felt in a while. And it'll be one so, of our two games in hand. And then the other game in hand for us, because they would have played two games more. Mm. But they still have to play us, and that's our game and in hand. And they have to play you twice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we've, so, we've, we've got two games over them now, but yeah. one of them is Man City. Yeah, exactly. But if, if you had two games in hand on me personally, yeah, and I knew I had to pay you twice, I'd be like, bro, it's still in my hands because we can mm. just beat you twice. That's, why, like that's that. why I think that game last night was crucial for Man City because if they had lost that game... It's over. Boy, boy we, we could have gone 11 points clear if we had beaten you at the weekend. 